Hey everybody, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic. Today I want to show you how to record separate audio files for each participant in a Zoom meeting. So normally when you record a meeting in Zoom, you get a video file uh, of the recording or of the meeting with all the participants' audio and video in one uh, you know, MP4 file. It also usually saves a separate M4A file of everyone's combined audio, but Zoom also has an option where you can separately record the audio input from each individual in the meeting. This is a great feature if you're going to be editing, um, you know, editing meetings down or you're looking for a particular person, what, what a particular person said at a certain time. You know, you can open this audio recording in, in an audio editor and you can see the waveforms, you know, where they weren't speaking, it'll be silent and where they, where they were speaking, you'll see actual waveform data. So you can easily jump between things that a person said if you're trying to find that particular person specific moment that they said something. So there's a lot of good reasons to do that. Um, and if you're going to do it, it's a pretty simple feature to turn on. With the Zoom, uh, with Zoom open, go over to the right hand side here beneath your name, and look for the settings button, click on that, and this menu will open up. Just go over to recording, and you can see here I've already got it checked. So record a separate audio file for each participant. And this is another important thing, optimize for third-party video editors. This is gonna actually make the recording be a separate file format, like an MP3 or M4A, depending on if you're on an Apple machine. Uh, that's gonna be easier for a third-party video editor editing program to, to work with. So make sure both of those are checked. All right, and then you'll see here the folder uh, directory where the recordings will be stored. So you can change that if you want, or if you're happy with the way that one is, you can just leave it. Okay, so basically I'm done setting that up. I click out of here, and that's that. Now when I start a recording, um, it's going to automatically record separate files along with one uh, collective audio file as well. So you'll get both options, uh, giving you a few more possibilities there. So to record the meeting, uh, it's gonna be simple. Start a new meeting, or we'll assume you're joining one from an invite. So here I am on the meeting screen. If you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see record, just click on that and Zoom will tell you you have the options to pause or stop recording. And if you then, let's say, stop the recording, it'll tell you it's going to be converted to an MP4 when the meeting ends. So let's kill the meeting here. And that was a pretty short uh, recording, so it should convert pretty fast. All right, there you go. It'll automatically open up the directory that it was stored in. And you'll see here you've got the meeting video, the audio uh, combined audio here, and then you've got a separate audio file. For me, in this case, I was the only participant. Had there been other people in the meeting with me, you see a file here uh, with the particular user's name right below it. Okay, for Tech Republic, I'm Brandon Villarolo. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in for more tips and tricks just like this one.